Hi folks, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio here. Um, today's video is going in a different direction from what we've done before. Uh, switching period to the Second World War. Um, some friends of mine are looking to get into uh, bolt action. Uh, big shout out to AJ in particular. Um, so I'm jumping on board too. Um, I've decided I'm going to play the Soviets. And in front of us here we have a female sniper from Bad Squid O Games. Um, we're not going to run through um, an option for uh, painting up uh, Soviet uniforms. Um, Soviet uniforms notoriously um, unlikely to be the same colour. Um, so you have a bit of variety um, within your um, army, which can be nice. Um, everything's going to be sort of a uh, greeny-brown uh, khaki colour, um, but we can add a, a little bit of variety with the different items of clothing here. Um, to begin with, I primed this black um, and then from above um, primed with white. Um, and that just means that we're going to have a bit of a, a lighter um, colour on the raised surfaces and a bit of natural shading um, in the darker um, areas below the model. And as we paint, we should be able to see a difference um, as we layer up. Um, to begin with, I'm going to look at the cloak. Um, I've got some Vallejo model colour, um, olive brown, um, as our base coat. So the base layer of olive brown on the cloak has dried, and now I'm going to get some uh, Vallejo model colour uh, English uniform. And we're going to apply this everywhere over the cloak, apart from the very deepest recesses. So as we get up to sort of our, our second and third uh, thin layers of the English uniform, we're really just sticking to the most prominent points. I'm also going to take this English uniform and use this uh, on the cap as well. To highlight the English uniform, I have some US field drab. Our final highlight on the cap um, is some coat to arms uh, faded khaki. For the uniform, we're going to use a base of flat brown, which we will then layer with flat earth, just leaving the brown to the very deepest recesses. Okay, base is done. Bring in the flat earth. The uniform will get a highlight of beige brown. The boots, I'll put a base layer of uh, black grey. First highlight is with dark rubber. Highlight the toes with some London grey. And at the very top of the boot. Wood of the rifle will get a base layer of Vallejo game colour dark flesh. I'm not going to be too worried if I go over some of the metal parts at the moment, so we'll paint over them. First highlight for the wood is with Vallejo model colour saddle brown. Final highlight on the wood is I have some old Citadel uh, vermin fur. I'm 
some black grey to base coat the metal areas on the rifle. I have some foundry gun metal to add some tiny highlights. Some webbing pouches around the middle, a base coat of coat d'arms faded khaki. I have some German camo beige to apply the first highlight. The final highlight is with some army painter drake tooth. The skin is going to be painted with the Foundry Flesh Triad. So there's a shade, a mid-tone and a highlight. For her hair, I have some coat arms dark sand. To highlight the hair, I have some Vallejo model color Iraqi sand. The last highlight with Army Painter Skeleton Bone. Last little detail to pick out with some Vallejo bronze. This little badge on the front of the cap. I'm now going to give everything a coat of gloss varnish. The gloss finish will allow us to do a bit of targeted. Um, washing. Um, rather than apply a deep wash over the whole model, um, we're going to keep our wash to the deepest of the recesses. The gloss finish will allow it to flow a bit easier. Um, I have some light tone. We're going to use that for the hair. Got some nice texture in the hair. And the light tone has been diluted one to one with the quick shade wash mixing medium. So we're just going to get a really subtle shading effect there. We can always go back and do a second coat if we don't think it's shaded enough. With some flesh wash, again a one to one mix with the quick shade mixing medium. And for the uniform strong tone, what I want to do with this is to keep it to areas where we've got a couple of different bits of cloth meeting and it's just going to help to put a line in between. It helps the areas stand out from one another. We can use it perhaps to darken some of the folds in our cloak as well. We'll come back after a second coat where necessary. I also have a little bit of red tone. We're just going to apply that over the bronze the little star shaped badge. I'll just give the impression that there is a bit of a, a red tint to it. Um, it's too small a detail really to paint red and then put a metallic edge around it as it would be in real life. So it's a quick way to just change the colour of that bronze slightly. The base rim, I need to do that um, 
in some black grey. And with the pre-textured base, um, we're spraying it black and then spraying white from above has actually brought up some of the texture. Um, we could leave it like that, um, perhaps if we were doing a um, city scene. Um, I think I will apply um, a dark tone wash over the top just to um, bring out a bit more of the um, the recesses there. After that's done, I think a bit of matte varnish to finish the model off will be the finishing touch. And here we have the finished sniper. Um, she's also been joined uh, by the spotter. Um, the two of them make up this team. The bases have been finished um, with some leaf scatter. Um, I can't remember where I got that from, it was some years ago. Um, but it looked good just to sort of dress the um, concrete rubbly bases with a, a little bit of colour, just to add some interest to take away from the, the grey. I hope that this has been a useful video. Um, the three colour layering um, or triad approach um, I quite like when I want to take a bit of time um, over a model. You can of course um, use uh, single colours, um, wash them and then um, dry brush a lighter colour over the top to do highlights. And certainly, uh, when I come to paint uh, full squads of um, riflemen, I will be adopting a much quicker process um, than what I've used here to get through the, the massed ranks. Um, but these metal miniatures are, are really nice um, casts, um, and I felt like just taking a bit of extra time to, to do them a bit more um, justice. And a sniper team, I think, is, is fairly... Um, important it'll sit on its own on the battlefield so um getting some eye candy is always um good for for this sort of miniature um the bad squid range um have a look if you're um, interested in um female miniatures for um both historical and fantasy gaming um lovely models there um which sort of go away from the horrible old uh, trope um, of ridiculous proportions and armour um, and actually look at real women and their roles um, especially in the, the Second World War where um, the Soviet army uh, had lots of um, women fighting for them. Take care everybody, see you soon, bye.